Hey there, hi there, ho there, internet! I'm Color Flarney, and welcome to Dry Dry Ruins in Paper Mario. Second dungeon of the game, and things are gonna get exciting from the get-go, because we've got... Green Pokies. Yeah, Green Pokies are interesting. Technically, they're called Pokemummies. Hope you're good at using the defensive command. This is a Pokemummy. Pokemummies are pokies that dried out and became mummies, then went to live in the ruins. Max HP 4, attack power 2, defense power 0. Careful, they have spikes on their heads. Trust me, it'll hurt if you jump on them. The mummification also made them poisonous. If you get poisoned when they attack you, you'll take damage for a while. What do you say we beat them before they can poison us? And when they say a while, they mean a while. Oh, three turns? I thought it was like nine turns. And of course I'm failing at the action commands now. Why wouldn't I? They don't give you any more EXP than a regular Pokey. There we go. That's better. And also, out of all my partners, only Cooper can attack Pokies and not take damage. Alright. Well, let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, or not. <laughs> I love you, Quake Hammer. And I love you, Power Shell. But I do wish you only took 2 FP. How about it, Cooper? You're exploring the ruins just like Colorado. And... We get the Spike Shield Badge. It lets Mario jump on a spiked enemy without taking damage. That can be very useful. Alright, now let's try blowing up the Pokemummy. Like that! Perfect! So I'm not sure if Bombette's Body Slam will damage them as well as Bombette, so I'm just gonna just swap to Cooper. Oh. Thankfully, it doesn't always poison you, it just often poisons you. Shell toss! Whew, yeah, Pokemummies can be a big pain in the butt to pit, uh, kill. Oh boy! And you, they got a tasty tonic, a very tasty tonic. Cures poisoning and shrieking, but if that's all it does, I don't really want it. And we get the ruins key, opens a locked door and dry dry ruins. Not a very well hidden key. I like how the doors open after you use the key on them though. And this makes the sand drain from the room. Into the room right below it. That's gonna be a gimmick in these dun in this dungeon. A lot of sand dumping will be had. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands! Sure, we will. Hey look, it's another key, but we can't reach it just yet. And remember when we fought Chan in the dojo? Now he's a common enemy. Except instead of Chan, he, they're called Buzzy Beetles. And they hurt a lot. And they've got really high defense. Thought we had enough of them in the Super Mario World playthrough? Yeah, no such luck. This is a Buzzy Beetle. Buzzy Beetles are cute, but mean. Max HP 3, attack power 2, defense power 2. 
Fire attacks won't work very well against these hardheads. If you can flip them, though, their defense power falls to zero. Keep flipping them, Mario. I heard that they used to flourish all over the place, but now they're only found in dark, shadowy places. Interesting. Finish him, Goombario. Four star points, and they are mine! Hope you haven't forgotten about Paracarry, because we need him. And I also hope you haven't forgotten about Bombette, because now you need her. <sighs> By the way, I totally ship Mario and Bombette. Not really. I ship Mario and Peach. And don't forget that star piece that's there. And also don't forget the Ruin Key that's in here. I love the ominous music in here. Ooh! Here's an example of the curse working. The spell will increase your attack power, so I will actually kill this Buzzy Beetle. No, I won't, because wow, I failed the action command. Unbelievable. Yeah, but that's an example of what the curse can do. Or I guess I should say a magic spell. Because curse implies it's bad. We'll get more into that in Paper Mario 2. And... Yep, guess what we're getting in this dungeon. And hey, let's hit that. Big mistake. Let's get out, Cooper. Not Bombette. We want Cooper. Only 2 FP for Quake Hammer versus free for Power Shell. I'll do Quake Hammer, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's refresh. <laughs> I'll just refresh you, Mario! And that power kind of stinks, believe it or not. That's definitely one of the worst of the powers you get in the game. Although, admittedly, it does have its uses. Especially early on. And now I'm actually going to get out Goombario. Because new enemy! This is a swooper, a ghost bat. Swoopers got their name because they swoop down out of the shadows. Max HP 4, attack power 2, dude. <laughs> attack power 2, defense power 0. Even jump attacks can't reach him when they're hanging on the ceiling, but Earth Tremors will knock him loose. Perry Carry can also knock him loose with one of his moves. You can attack him however you choose once they're hovering in the air. So this is where, um, yeah, Quake Hammer, please and thank you. Affects enemies on the ceiling as well. That was embarrassing. All right. Well, that was dumb, but this shouldn't be too bad. Take that, Swooper. You gotta be really on those attacks. Or action commands, rather. Because the closer the Pokey is, the faster the ball comes at you, so... Do you need to prepare for that. And when you defeat them... You get a Ruins Key! 
wonder where we should use it. Let's try flying in here, shall we? Huh? Wait, come on! Don't go in that room! Oops, <laughs> I mean... Flee now while you still can! If you continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse! Interesting, he's getting more desperate. Well, now we've got this fun little puzzle. Not much of a puzzle, to be perfectly honest, but I appreciate it all the same. Staircase swapping 101. And why is Paracarry out, let's be honest? Sorry, Paracarry, it's not that I don't like you, it's just you're my least favorite partner. Okay, also very well hidden badge. What we're gonna do is walk along this railing. Fall down. We we'll land on this railing. Secret room. And we get the slow go badge. Makes Mario unable to run. His pace becomes very slow. Yeah, it's actually a bad badge. I don't want you to equip it. <laughs> get speedy spin instead. And we get the Super Hammer! The attack power of Mario's hammer increases! On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. There we go. So now my hammer, when I do a successful attack, deals 4 damage. And if I don't do a, successive attack, a successful attack, then it only deals a paltry 2 damage. So my hammer's much better now. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Bombat. She's amazing. Yes, I want to upgrade Bombette. Are you crazy? <laughs> she learned such a good ability from this. So she's upgraded to Super Rank. So now she deals... Her Body Slam will deal 3 damage. Her Bomb Attack deals an additional 1 damage from now it's 6 attack. And she gets the ability Power Bomb, which bombs all ground enemies. And it's freaking amazing. Alright. Arf, arf! Time to fight a Stone Chomp. Actually, I'll tattle on them first. This is a stone chomp who guards the treasure in this room. He's made of stone, duh! Max HP 4, attack power 3, defense power 1. His jaws can supposedly crush a coconut. I don't know about you, but I don't want to become a snack. Alright, well... Quake Hammer, I think, will be nice here. Quake Hammer doesn't deal extra damage, unfortunately. And that's really hard to defend against. Especially when they're that far away. Arf arf! Oh, I want more star points than that. Only four apiece? They're a mini boss for crying out loud. Oh man, I should have got equipped payoff badge. Oh. And now we get the diamond stone, star shaped stone found in Dread Red Ruins. That will come in handy later. Let's get rid of the Buzzy Beetles, because we can. Really? One's on the ceiling. Alright, fine. Alright, I need more FP. And more HP, to be perfectly honest. But I'm close to getting a level up, so... Two FP's not good. Enough. I'll drink some Koopa tea. Get a little refund. Keep in mind, you won't get the refund if you use it outside of battle, so... I'm guessing I'll need to use Quake Hammer again, because there are more Buzzy Beetles in the room. Oh, and now I get FP. A nice little map of the dungeon. Who said that Zelda dungeons are the only ones with maps? Oh boy, this will be fun. Knew I would need Quake Hammer again. Goodbye, Swooper. 
I like how the one on, that was on the ceiling is now turned around. That's a funny touch. And now my hammer is so powerful I can actually kill Buzzy Beetles by smashing them. <laughs> Sorry, Goombario, you're not the strongest guy around anymore. But keep in mind... Ooh, yep, double star points. I think that's a level up. <laughs> nope, one away. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we'll fight you on the way out. Okay, that block was pushing the button down in the first place. How come it's not anymore? Whatever. We get a ruin ski for that. It's pretty dark around here. We'd better be careful not to get lost or ambushed. I was hoping that this underground passageway would yield a more entertaining quote from you, Goombario. You're disappointing me. You're disappointing the fans. I really hope I get some good uh, double EXP for uh, the bosses. That's always a laugh. And a half. How do you like them apples, Buzzy Beetles? What to upgrade? This is tough, because... I know I only have 15 HP, but I've got damage dodge, and I'm usually pretty good about the action commands, which results in not a whole lot of damage. I do eat through FP a lot, but then again, if I get BP, I could equip either one of the HP plus or FP plus badges. It's a tough choice, but, uh, nah, HP. Wee Mario's a tornado! Ooh, ha ha ha! This would be fun. Let's use Quake Hammer again. Yeah, Quake Hammer is one of the only like hammer attacks that actually does not get better when you get the Super Hammer. But, you, there is a way to improve its power. But we won't get that until much later in the game. Turn back, thief! Your time is running out! If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble! I do not lie! You will regret it! Actually, we were not supposed to go on there just yet. Because you'll remember... There was a stone block earlier in the dungeon we could not break. Actually, two of them. First one's over here. And we got the artifact, a strange artifact found in Dredre Ruins. Sounds weird, but that's gonna play a role in the game later. Uh-oh. Oh, we get the Pyramid Stone, triangle-shaped stone found in Dredre Ruins. Alright. Doom, doom, doom. Goodbye, Chain Chomp. Um. Okay, well, how about we just bomb the river one? Or four! <laughs> Still eight star points. Not bad. Ooh, I like the FP. Oh no, that's my coin. Man, we are just breezing through the dungeon! Well, granted, I'm very familiar with it, but I'm still beating it faster than I thought I would. Go me! Alright, use the ruins key up here. And this is one of the interesting sand rooms.
Because that actually fills... Remember that room way down there where we went through the Buzzy Beetle Corridor and then pushed the switch underneath the stone block and got the key up there? Yeah, that room's now flooded with sand. You can't go back in there. And hey, no stone chomp this time. And we get the Lunar Stone, crescent-shaped stone found in Dry Dry Ruins. Uh, just kidding. So if memory serves, they have two defense, so... Oh, no, they... They only have one defense, really? Wow. Man, stone chomps aren't that great, never mind. I don't know why I've been using bomb and quake hammer on them all the time to pierce their defense. Wait, no, bomb does not pierce defense. I've said that many times, but it does not. It just deals a ton of damage. Alright, so you'll remember in this room, there are those symbols on the stone chomps, and we've got the free stones. We're gonna have to use those in order. Okay, goes like that. Nope. Yes, I want to take the diamond stone out. Whoopsies. This is where the diamond stone goes. And this is where the pyramid stone goes. And Mario's trying to carry up the ceiling again. Womp. 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 Alright, here comes Goombario, here comes Goombario. This is your final warning, and enough of this foolishness, leave at once. No. <laughs> Awesome introduction. You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tutton Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean... You shall regret this! So Tom Koopa actually gets like worse every time I play it. I always am like, oh, he has like a ton of HP. Like, no, he has less every time. Like, I always remember him having more HP than he actually has. And yeah, Power Bounce does not work very well against bosses. This is Tutton Koopa. He's one of Bowser's followers, and he's been assigned to guard one of the Star Spirits. I've heard that he has a sort of a Pharaoh complex. No. Max HP 30, attack power 3, defense power 0. Yeah, I remember him having a 50 HP, but no. If he attacks by throwing shells from that high perch. Try to dodge when he uses his magic. Its attack power is 2, and it'll sting for sure. And he also summons Chops, his loyal subjects. Those Chops have some serious attack power. Think hard about who to attack first, Tutankupo Koopa or Chomp. <laughs> Come, Chomp, come! Bite this intruder! And it's a Chain Chomp, not just a Stone Chomp. Chain Chomps are much tougher. Also, only time in the game you fight one. It's a Chomp! I've heard about Chomps before, I'm sure. Max HP 4, attack power 3, defense power 3. They're made of such hard stuff that most of your attacks won't even phase them. I heard a rumor that Chomps are a little peeved at Totten Koopa because he works them so hard. Ooh, interesting. It's not the best you can do. Wake hammer time. <laughs> I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed. And that knocks out Goombario for two turns. Thanks, dude. Let's kill Chomp. Ooh, 
Ooh, four star points. Nice. Huh? Alright, doofus. And this attack again. But with a little twist. <laughs> he hurt himself. Goodbye, Tut and Koopa. Cool guy, but kind of a lame boss battle. Oh yeah, 28 star points. I really would have wanted uh, double star points for that one. No! Aw, oh, come here, Chompy. Wow, what are you? Ow, help! Uh, apparently they do not like him after all. I like the paper flames as well. Very well done. Very ominous. And second star spirit. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. End of chapter! Thus Mario and party unearthed the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Tut and Koopa the Wizard and freed Mamar, the second of the wish-granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger and the challenge is more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Just in case something happens. Oh boy, Bowser's mad. Is he still mad about the diary? Or maybe he's happy. That looks weird. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck! I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything the day as it was when before you shoved it up. <laughs> oh, that's rich! You know I can't do that! That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Bros and Tutton Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. Hey, Bowser is actually showing respect for, like, his underlings. Uh, he wouldn't be a bad boss to work for. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use Invincible Tubba Blubba on him. He's the strongest creature I know. After me. You best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. We have a problem. What, Karen Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset. You know it's my time to talk to Princess Peach. <laughs> what? The Star Spirit flew away from Tubba Blubba's castle? K King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. She's literally like two feet from him. She totally heard everything. Mmm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Ooh, nice hiding spot, Twink. Twink, did you hear that? Yeah, because Bowser, like, shouted it on the top of his lungs. Did you hear him call that Tubba Blubba thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we could find something, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. Then there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Photo of Mario. Oh, that's right. It's all the same. No new dialogue in here. Nothing different happens if you walk outside the room. Also, this is where we get the really catchy Peach fame. Do, do, do. Starts playing with Peach, gets more confident about her uh, abilities, I guess you could say. Like I've said, I really like the what they've done with Peach and Paper Mario, where they, like she actually does her own stuff and helps Mario in that way. There are still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. So here's a little like stealth game. Avoid the flashlights. Man, they've got bad eyesight. Let's go in here for starters. 
We get the Deep Focus Badge. When using Focus, charges star energy more than usual. So he might be confused a little bit, like, Peach gets a badge? Like, how does that work? Peach cannot equip badges, no. However... Oh, look there! What a beautifully crafted treasure chest! Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down for generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious! A mysterious treasure chest. That's right, this chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool! So where is the other treasure chest anyways? Uh, where is it? You know, I can't remember! Yeah, put your badges and stuff you find in here. Mario can find the other chest and get them later. And... There comes a point where you will stop playing as Princess Peach forever, and if you don't deposit the stuff you've had in the chest, they're gone forever. Ooh. Is Bowser setting up a romantic candlelit dinner? For him and Cammy Koopa? Or for him and Peach? Or just for him, since there was only one seat there. Alright. Out of the way, Koopa Trolls. There are guards here, too. Probably lots of them. We'd better be extra careful. So no flashlights in here, but we just have to use some stealth. And if memory serves... Can we examine anything in here? Maybe not yet. You can come back to the library later. Also, Peach cannot jump. Or spin. I'm surprised they didn't hear that fanfare. You got the Power Rush Badge. When Mario's in danger, his attack power increases by two. It's an okay badge. If you're in danger a lot, it can be useful, but that also like encourages you to stay in danger. And you'll notice there is a mushroom item up there, which is called a Life Shroom. We can't get that till like, the very end of the game, though. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle on top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down starting with its head. Chomp! Oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night, and I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubba Bob is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Bob has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Matt Tubble Bubba's got a secret note that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. My past? I heard it he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh! What if Master Tubble Bubba hears you? He might gobble us up! Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit. Twink, it sounds like Tubble Bubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? GASP! Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? <laughs> oh, whoa, Princess Peach, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. We can't have you knowing about my nightmares. No! I mean, to be fair, Peach, you did start whispering right next to them. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star energy goes up to two. Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Yeah, that's literally just a sleepy sheep that you can use at any time. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit, after all. 
<laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Starhaven. Who knows how my dear old Starhaven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I am off. Yeah, second power is not that great. But there are a few battles where it's very useful. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching on Colorful Artie. And tune in for the next episode. We will be heading back to Toad Town and doing some stuff there. Have a great day and God bless.